Crisis DN here. Hey Crisis DN here. Coming at you with another Hockey Parenting 101 video. Today's video I'm going to talk about positions versus positioning. In a previous video I talked about general, generally what's going on on the ice uh, with positions. You know, I talked about there's, there's five players on the ice uh, plus the goalie, so six total, but five offensive position or five skating positions uh, you get center left wing right wing those are your forwards and then left defenseman right defenseman right so in general that those are their positions so the left defenseman will will start off face offs in that left defenseman position and will generally float in that left defenseman third of the ice depending on where the puck's at same with the left wing and the right wing the center kind of goes all over the place right so center i would say other than the face-offs doesn't really have a position other than they need to be going to where the puck is at or going to the net if they're in the offensive zone and one of the other players got the puck or you know or or trying to make an offensive play but uh I'm, that those are the positions now positioning is, is something entirely different uh, in my mind and it should be in your coach's mind as well uh, I always tell my daughter I told my son this all the time you, you want to make a good hockey play now whether that hockey play is you're on defense and you dump the puck in the zone or you clear it out of, out of your zone or or you, know, you put it up the boards for a breakout is that the right hockey play then make that hockey play is that a safe hockey play then make that hockey play but if you have an opportunity, if your kid has an opportunity because they see open ice, maybe on the weak side, to skate with it, or they have like they're getting, be given, a, they're being given a lot of room by the other team to, to skate with the puck, then I'm hoping your coach is encouraging them to try to skate with the puck and make the right hockey play, right? If your coach for your kid is telling them that they're not allowed to do that kind of stuff, that is wrong. That, that is wrong and it, if, if you could talk to the manager about that and, and explain your frustration with that and, and try to understand what they're doing uh, if you, or you could talk directly to the coach up to you if you don't feel comfortable doing that or if the coach is, is blowing you off then you need to go to the hockey director because if, if, if they're doing things like that just so they can get a few more W's a few more wins at the youth hockey level that is wrong and they're stunting the growth of your youth hockey player. Their focus should be on making them the best, most most highly skilled player they can make them for the next year, right? You wanna have your, your player continue to develop and grow through their entire youth hockey experience from, uh, from mites all the way up through uh, uh, midget or high school level and if your coaches are trying to tell them that they can't do things because they need to just make sure that they do this one thing so they can win and get get a a silly trophy or or a medal from a tournament or some hockey league they're in that is that is a short-sighted that's yeah it's just that's short-sighted on the coach's part they should really be looking at developing that player that that should be their focus and having fun and the big thing, wins or losses aside, competing. You want your kids to learn how to compete fairly. So that's what I'm talking about, positioning. Uh, my daughter plays defense, and I, I have this issue this year a little bit with her head coach because she'll try to make a play. I tell her, make a hockey play, make the right hockey play. And it's not always the right one. And sometimes you have to go back and do a little bit of coaching after the fact to, to tell her maybe she should have made a different play. But... I never tell her that she can't do something. And sometimes I hear our head coach kind of go there, not with her that much, but with other players, because he's worried that they can't they can't make a, a good play, and that he just wants them to make the safe play because he thinks his role is to win. And that's, we're, we're working through that. Uh, I'm gonna continue to push what I think is the right way to do business, but that is not the right way to do business. Um, they, they, you know, you should be, the, the coaches should be trying to develop, I know I'm beating a dead horse there, but they should be trying to develop their player. I actually went to 
a uh, hockey clinic not long ago. It was a level four hockey clinic where the, the the lead facilitator was talking about this, and he showed a hockey play from an NHL game, and it was a, a defenseman took the puck past the blue line, skated down below the goal line. It's the defenseman down below the goal line. Uh, I can't remember details, but he definitely did that, trying to make a play, put it out in front for his, his teammate to try to score, and then just race back to his position. That's the way they should be taught. Make a good hockey play. And during that clinic, I actually, there were several coaches that disagreed with the guy. And he's like, the game's changed, people. Like, we're, you can't think the old way anymore. You can't think that it's just all about, like, I'm a defenseman. Uh, that's where I stay on defense. That's not the way that the position is taught anymore. And the, the really good players uh, are developed that way. So we're moving into a new age of, of what it means playing a position versus positioning. And an analogy I like to think about is, is basketball. Um, when, when I think about this kind of stuff because I don't know if you notice now if you pay attention at all to NBA games they have like seven footers that can handle the ball like a point guard now when I was growing up if you were the tallest kid on the team guess what you got stuck under the basket and were told to stand there and when you did you had success because nobody else could you really couldn't jump and then no one else was taller than that person so and just stand under the basket, they get a bunch of rebounds, defensive rebounds, and then block shots. And then we'd go to the, you go to the offensive side, and you stand under the basket, and then you get past two and just lay up, lay up, lay up, or rebound, offensive rebound, lay up, right? So he's scoring, scoring leader on the team, winning, winning trophies that nobody cares about. They're, right? It's youth hockey stuff and stuff that ends up in your attic when you're an adult and then they get older and then they can't really play the game because they never learned how to play the game well nowadays especially in Europe you have all these tall basketball players that can handle the ball like like I said like a point guard when we were growing up so hopefully that's changed for the better with basketball and I'm hoping to see that change as well with hockey because these kids need to learn learn just how to play hockey and, and make make the right hockey play not just stay in a certain position i think that's all i got to say on that soapbox uh so i appreciate you watching my videos uh, if you have any ideas for any videos that you uh would like me to do please let me know i'd be happy to happy to have those in the in the repertoire add them to my list of things that i want to talk about uh, appreciate you watching uh, please subscribe if you haven't uh, hit that like button and make sure your kids continue to play frosty uh, with that crisis dn signing off